Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners with Jim Mashura. Today we're going to tie a gimme caddis pupa in olive. And by gimme, here we have the gimme brand. These are just uh, kids' hair, hair bands. You get 500 of them at the dollar store. I got these for a buck. You get 500 different colors. You can see here we have an olive and a white. And I took all most of the olives and whites out of this package. But you got nice yellows. You got purples. You got some pinks. There's blue. But these really make really nice bodies for nymphs and caddis. The hook we have in the vise is a Maruto C46 size 16 and this is a shrimp caddis pupa scud uh, hook very sharp hooks Maruto and you get these from frostyfly.com I'm going to use 12 op vivas thread in black I'm going to start that thread behind the eye And I'm going to come up about one eye length, just. Now I'm going to take my uh, olive. This is a nice brighter green uh, or olive gimme band. And you could you can cut a little dart on it. And that way you don't catch as much and make a bump. So we got a little bump there. But then I'm going to pull it as I come back. And you can use this uh, the, the uh, hairband to hold at that 45 to get that nice tight wraps. We're going to take that. And bring that down around the bend slightly. I'm pulling this pretty pretty tight, you can see. And I'm gonna bring my thread back up to the top. This is a size 16, that's why I'm using a such a thin thread. 12 ot. I would use 16 ot, but uh, I ran out of the 16 ot Vivas. Okay, now I'm going to take, you can take your uh, hackle pliers. Whoop. And I'm going to wrap this, and I'm going to pull this pretty tight. Actually, I don't even need the hackle pliers. This is still big enough. And you want to make sure that you try to keep this flat. And you can see it's pretty much transparent when it goes on the hook. You can see that black through it. So it's going to change the color pretty dramatically. We're going to go ahead and wrap that tight. And like I said, try to keep that from twisting. And you can release the pressure as you go up. It'll give you a little bit of a more of an olive color. I'm still keeping this pretty tight and it'll help you to make that taper on the body. Gonna go with one more wrap. Bring this up and you can see where it's falling off. I'm gonna tie this off here. that tight I'm gonna wrap in front of it to lock that in you can even pull that pretty tight and come back on it a little bit so you get a fold over in your in your uh, tie-in then go ahead and trim this off don't pull too tight when you 
uh, trim because you can pull it so tight that it'll slam back or it'll crawl back inside. Here we have our body. Now we're about one eye length from the eye of the hook. And the next thing we're going to take is I'm going to take my Polish skirt Swiss straw. This is actually, if you go to Party City, you can get these. They're just hula skirts, artificial hula skirts. And you'll see, I can take this apart. You can use your... It's folded over and over and over. You can use your bodkin needle. And you can see I'm just pulling that apart. And we want it down to one or two strands having that extra that extra piece there that's not a big that's okay and then you can go ahead and tie this in and you want to tie this in going down I'll tie that far side on first make that loose loop and pull that tight Let me try back that up and do that again. There we go, that's better. We want that in the down position. I'm going to trim this off. It's probably better to trim it off than to fold it over, unless you're doing big ones. But even with big ones, you're going to get uh, too much... Uh, of a build up on that fold. I'm going to keep some on the enough to grab onto on the front of it. Just in case I have to adjust. I'm going to go ahead and trim off that front piece. Well, they're both going in the down position, so I'm going to take them both at the same time and just lift a little bit just to cut them and make that cut just a little longer than the hook shank. And then you can push them back down into position there. And you'll have something like this. I'm going to go ahead and clean up that front area it's good to try to use the least amount of wraps as possible because you don't want a really big head for the wings I'm going to use partridge feather and I'm just going to grab a partridge feather. You could use a, a larger one on this. Whoop, I grabbed several. Here we go. Now I'm going to take most of this fluff off. Being careful because you can break the stem rather quickly. And there I show you, see, you can see I broke that there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hackle pliers. I'm going to grab that tip. I'm going to pull that back a little bit. And I'm going to cut that tip out. Then I can go ahead and push the barbels back into the position. Now I'm going to take that V, I'm going to place it right on top. And I'm going to 
fold the hackles down over the sides. Now that actually was pretty good. You want the, the wings or the hackle to be about the length of the body. Maybe a little shorter. Try to keep them divided there. Take a few more wraps to secure them. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess. I'm going to hold my thread back and I'm going to burn away some of that excess that I couldn't get real close. I use my fingers to protect my materials. Now for the head, I'm going to use a little bit of my crystal dub. Just try to get a little bit of the sparkle in there. And don't take that don't take that dumbing down to the eye, because you will crowd the eye really quickly. I have a couple sticking forward. I'm just gonna stroke back and give a couple of turns right there. Take your whip finish. Go ahead and tighten that up. Turn off the excess. I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on there. When you're using the gimme bands or any kind of uh, rubbery synthetic, try not to get head cement on the gimme bands. The solvent has a tendency to eat it away a little bit. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And if you'd like to buy any of these flies or any of my flies, go to my Etsy shop at Etsy.com shop the flyman gym and you can purchase them through that and thank you very much for watching my videos